Hello and welcome to a not so sunny Spain. The weather's turned a bit this weekend which has thwarted my video plans. So I'm going to do a slightly different video today. And thanks to Joe at Gassed Up, I thought I'd do one while I was driving which is my car history. So it's quite a long one. Um, I know quite a few people have been doing these online recently so I thought I'd join in. I've even prepared a list because there are quite a few cars that I appear to have owned over the past 20 odd years. So let's begin. First car I ever had was a gold Austin Metro 1.1 <laughs> and it was my first car and I loved it. I loved it because it was my first car. It wasn't very good. In fact when we bought it it was in a really bad state uh, but it was all we could afford. We were very poor in those days and uh, fortunately my mother had sued some company that she worked for before managed to get a bit of cash and we bought this car but that gold one litre metro I just loved it it was your first car you always love your first car it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter how how a heap of rubbish it might be you love your first car um, shortly after that um, unfortunately the car sort of sort of blew up and um, we, we, we didn't have a car for a while but then I had a summer job and I bought a red Fiat 126 BIS I think that's what they used to call it a 126 BIS um, and I think it had a two two cylinder I think 700 cc engine the thing was tiny it was really slow but boy was it really good fun it was so basic it was so easy to drive I actually really enjoyed the car after that I was studying at university and during my university years I didn't have a pot to piss in so I didn't have a car but when I finished university I got a car loan and I bought a Citroen Saxo 1.1 SX I loved it because it was my first new car you know your first new car is still very special your first car is special but your first new car is also very special I don't know it's only a Citroen Saxo it's only a 1.1 but unfortunately after about seven or eight months with the car I could no longer afford to keep the payments up on it and it got repossessed so off went the Saxo but I did enjoy having that car quite a lot I really enjoyed driving that and then I went through about six months where I didn't have a car at all um, so and I still didn't have any money so I decided to get a sales job so that I could get a company car and I, so I got a sales job somehow because I'm rubbish at sales so I don't know how I got a sales job but I got a sales job and my first car was, as a salesman, was a Toyota Carina E, a red one, and it was a 1.6, which has to be the worst possible engine for a big car ever. Carina E's at the time were like what taxi drivers used to use. So I used to tr get flagged down all the time, you know, for, for taxi rides. But I mean, it, it was a, a good car. It didn't break down. It was a Toyota. It was fine, but just completely not fun car at all. But I didn't care because I had a fuel card, so I had free fuel. Oh, there's the police. So I had free fuel, and I could use the car as much as I wanted, and it wasn't going to cost me any more money. So it was great. I could go anywhere, fill up for free. I loved having a company car and then they upgraded me from a Carina E to a Toyota Avensis 1.6 and it was like a bogey green colour not not a fun car either but again free fuel um, use it as much as you want someone else took care of all the maintenance and everything so it was quite nice in that respect but again it's just not a car that you drive when you're a petrol head but the next car fortunately had that same job I got a promotion and then they gave, managed to upgrade me from a 1.6 to 1.8 but this time instead of a Toyota Avensis I got a Ford Mondeo it was a ZTEC model and it was amazing it was comfortable it was really good to drive the steering was brilliant the brakes were really good. It was just a really good car. Ford made an amazing car with that Mondeo. I know it didn't look amazing or anything, but to drive, it was the best saloon car by far that any sales rep could drive. And then I changed company and I had another company car, which was a Honda Accord 2 litre petrol automatic. 
and I think it was a four-speed automatic the thing was absolutely horrific it was really slow it wasn't that comfortable it was just really boring it was awful I think I preferred the Avensis but fortunately the same company someone left and um, when they left they left their company car which was a Golf GTI Mark IV and well I mean it was a massive improvement on the Honda Accords but it still wasn't very good it was when really Volkswagen hadn't really got oh shit that's gonna fall off it was when Volkswagen hadn't really got the Golf GTI right uh, but it was quick the turbo engine was good in it it was okay I mean, it was a lot better than what I had before which was that prelude so the prelude the Accord and then I was lucky at the same company to upgrade again to one of my all-time favorite cars which was an Alfa Romeo 156 2 litre seller speed so it had the paddle shift in fact it wasn't even a paddle shift it was like two buttons on the steering wheel for up and down on the gears but I loved that car it was black it had a big wing on the back it was incredible it looked like the Batmobile yes in two Alfa style it broke down about three times but boy did it make an amazing sound I mean it was uncomfortable I used to, have to take my shoes off to actually drive comfortably in it because I was too long but the engine the sound that two liter engine in those alphas even today I want to buy one of those cars because I've never come across an engine like those they are the best sounding feeling engines for a four cylinder that you can buy at the time as well I bought like a second car for the family because we just had two babies twins and I bought off eBay a Japanese import which was a Mitsubishi Mitsubishi Pajero which was a 2.5 diesel the thing was absolutely awful absolutely horrific car it was really smoky all over the place it was really slow just awful awful car uh, so I think I had it for like six months and then I got rid of it that was my time in England and then I moved to Spain and when I moved to Spain I bought off a friend here that I knew in Spain I bought his um, he had a Ford Focus the original Mark 1 it was a 1.6 petrol and I bought it off him and I loved it really good car I mean those those original Ford Focuses they just changed the ball game for small hatchbacks it was a good car to drive it felt good the steering was really nice in it just everything about that initial focus was really positive it was really good really sort of driver focused yeah, but we also then got like a second car which was a Ford Focus Mark II but it was a diesel version I think it was a 1.8 turbo diesel um, which was great I mean it was nice to drive but it just made me realize that diesels aren't for me because I also after that car then um, swapped it for a Seat Leon 1.9 turbo diesel which essentially is just a VW Golf but the Seat Leon the diesel version I mean it just sounded like a tractor I knew they were quite talky and stuff but they, they were it was like driving a tractor so I didn't really enjoy the Seat Leon at all and inside it was really plasticky I didn't really like it and then I got rid of all of them and I bought a VW Golf Mark V GTI with a DSG I bought it brand new in black what a brilliant car it was like the perfect car five doors it was comfortable it wasn't shouty but it was quick it felt good it was nice to drive it was like VW were back I had the Mark IV GTI and that just did not compare to the Mark V the Mark V changed everything it was really good it was fun it looked nice I loved it and I kept that car for like six or seven years um, while I had that car I also bought a Toyota GT86 in white just because the reviews were so good for the car and the fact it was a real wheel drive car it was supposed to be fun I loved the whole concept behind the GT86 so I, I saw one in the dealer here near where I live I went in one day and it was like ah, okay look I'll take it I loved it obviously the GT86 is an amazing car to drive it's not particularly quick two litre there's no petrol uh, there's no petrol there's no turbo it's just a two litre normally aspirated engine so it's not quick at all it was not quick you could switch off some of the systems and really play around with the car you could switch all the systems off play around with the car and then have an accident like I did but really good fun I actually really miss it 
Um, really, really missed the GT86. Really fun car, love it. And then I, when I got rid of the Toyota, I, I thought I'm not gonna buy anything for a while. And then I happened to be going past the Ferrari dealer. And then I got sucked in and then that was it. And then, then I ended up buying this, this 360 Spider, which I've had for just over a year. And um, I love it. It's a Ferrari, how can you not love it? And as many of you watching this channel will know, I also bought this year a Ford Focus RS, the new Mark III version, which is my daily driver. And it is awesome. It is, I can't express what an incredible car that really is. And every time I get in, big grin on my face, I love it. So anyway, that's my car history. Hope you found it interesting. There's quite a few cars there. Sorry I didn't have a normal video for today, but the weather's turning, I think it's gonna rain, so I couldn't do what I wanted to do. But I'll do that next weekend. So hope you liked the video. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Always really appreciate everyone who subscribes. As of today, I think I'm three people short of 2,000 subscribers. So I just need three people to click subscribe and I'll be there. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you soon.